This video will demonstrate a remote rig setup using a Raspberry Pi and a Linux laptop. You're seeing the Raspberry Pi at the moment using the VNC viewer from Real VNC, and this works very well. We already have a few things set up using a previous video using FL Digi, FL Rig, and FL Digi's logbook. So we're all set up to go, and I'll send a few tests here. So we know that I'm um, typing on the Raspberry Pi through real, v real VNC, and we have the output of the Raspberry Pi's own sound card going to two audio-derived CW keying circuits, which keys the push-to-talk just before it keys the CW jack, then releases the CW jack, and then releases the push-to-talk. And that's all done inside FL Digi's right QSK control. So you check mark under QSK, QSK on the right audio channels. So I have this right channel, this right stereo signal coming out of the Pi's own analog sound card speaker jack. Goes over to its own circuit, and that's what's keying the push to talk. So it keys at 6 milliseconds before it sends out the CW tone, and then it releases at 3 milliseconds the push to talk jack 3 milliseconds before the CW uh, tone is done. And going into this negative region allows you to make up a little room as far as hearing more receiver background between, you know, for a full, full, for a full QSK. So that's the keyboard. Now if we go up to, uh, on the laptop I also have uh, paddles going into a separate system where I have an audio receiver that's going to accept this audio transmitter from my laptop, and I'll go over that in a minute. But we're using TRX. It's a Linux program, and it's a command line program, and it uses the Opus codec. So you set up a transmitter and receiver. So on the laptop, I have a transmitter going to a certain receiver on the uh, Pi that's using a certain sound card. So I have several sound cards on the Pi. I have its own sound card. I'm also using the, another sound card that comes with the Elecraft K3, a USB sound card. And then I have a, a third sound card going to another circuit, and I'll demonstrate that right now. This is so I can use uh, panels or a straight key, and this is sending a tone over TRX to the Pi. The Pi receives it through to TRX, sends it to a certain USB sound card that goes to a certain audio-derived CW keying circuit, which keys the jack. And there'll be some article links in the show notes if you're interested in that, but here's the paddles. And the straight key. So that's uh, straight key, paddles, and a CW keyboard. And I could also use a uh, FL Digi on the laptop here, but with packet losses and packet delay, you'll get a cleaner signal, especially if you're going QRQ by having by using the uh, CW keyboard on the Pi. So all that's required then is using real VNC to type the letters here in here for the transmit screen. Now we also have the ability to uh, use USB, uh, SSB, I mean, or lower sideband or upper sideband. But I can send my voice too, so we go up here on this uh, FL rig. And go up into the sideband. So we've opened it up a bit. So I'll use my microphone now. Is this, Is this frequency in use? use? And so now we were able to use a sideband. And it's pretty low delay. This uh, TRX is a pretty good program.
So on the laptop, to set up the audio, this is this is what I have. So I'm transmitting the voice using this command right here. So I'm in the TRX Master folder, then I just give this command. So I'm only using one channel of audio. I'm using a USB microphone adapter, sending it to the Pi's IP address right like this. Now you can also do this over the internet, you just have to get the, get the right port forwarding. On another transmit, which I'm also transmitting, which is this one here, I'm using a different port. The default port is 1350. So for the CW to work, I'm using Hardware Zero, which is the microphone. And you can see the microphone jack of the laptop is right here. So it's coming out of a 555 chip here, so I'm just keying this 555, and that's sending an audio signal to the Pi. And all it's using it for is to rectify it and store up a voltage and keys a transistor, which keys the CW jack. I'm not, when I'm using the paddles or the straight key, I'm not really using the push to talk. The, the uh, rig works well enough, you know, going uh, pedal speed or straight key speed, so I don't have to worry about that. So hardware zero is this laptop's own microphone. So that goes over, and then on the Pi, I'll bring up a few of those here. This is just a list of sound cards, so I've got an ALSA sound card, and I've got a USB uh, sound card, and another USB. The Kodak 2 here, this one right there, that's the uh, Elecraft's own sound card that's inside the rig. And then I have this one for the recording device, it's a USB, which is also the Elecraft. Now this is transmitting the rig's audio from that Elecraft USB sound card. So that would be device 2, which is right here in the playback, card 2. So any receiver or side tone is coming out of that rig and going through TRX to the laptop here. Now here is the uh, side tone. Hardware 1 is this USB sound card right there. And that has a little amplifier in it. So it makes the uh, rectification a lot easier and the circuit works a little bit better and keys the CW jack just through a transistor. Very simple circuit. You can look at an article that we have on our website to see a bunch of different circuits that will work. So that's the first receiver from TRX. And this uh, dash J is just a jitter. You have to kind of play around with that and see where you get a stable stream. The better your internet connection, the better, the lower you can vault, or lower this and get lower latency. But the main thing is you can set up a bunch of these just as long as you use a different port. So I'm using 1351. The default port again is 1350. And this is the standard receive for the voice. This is going to hardware 2. And that's this one right here. And that's how, you, that's how we were able to hear my voice when I asked if the frequency was in use. So we have that audio cable going. 
And then, of course, the great feature of FL Digi is the simple logbooks. It's all right there. You can change uh, quite a bit of the stuff on here. Change the, ban the bandwidth, the mode, which you've seen me do. We have a volume here. You can go up and down, adjust your power, the RF gain. And if you wanted to work with the IF shift, So very useful, this uh, FL rig. And this is my hardware 3. Get all this up here then. Go over these one more time. It may appear a lot, a lot more confusing than it really is. There's hardware three. That's it. It's the USB microphone. That's what I was using for sideband. Which is this one right here. And this is a mono microphone, so I only need one channel, which is the dash C1. It's hardware three since it's on card 3 here. So you just type in a record dash L and it'll bring up all your sound cards. And the dash D hardware 3 defines that sound card and this is just a destination I want it to transmit to which is the IP address of the Pi. So we have rig control, we have a log, we have CW keyboard, paddles and straight key. Everything you need. You can also set up a camera and take a look at the rig and see how things are going. I haven't done that because I needed the camera for to show this right here. Anyway, thanks for watching.